Um, hey guys. So today, I thought I would show you, um, just the video of my Goosebumps play figure. And also, my camera's in a different place. It's still in my room. This is what you usually see. And I put it right here. Um, right here in my classroom box. That's a bunch of Goosebumps in the suit. Yeah. So, this is... Yeah, in the last video of my huge Goosebumps collection, um, I said I was going to make Mr. Wood, and I have, so, I have made some progress. I made his legs, made Mr. Wood's legs. Oh, hold on, his head fell. I made his head, I didn't put on the wig yet. I'm gonna do that soon. How it works is here it moves. Hey Donic. Oh. <laughs> oh, since I'm seeing this, I didn't know I was that good of a very complex. Yeah, it took me a long time to find this. Yeah. When I went to find that at Walmart, this was the last extra small. I mean, even then, because dummies are small, they're not like the size of a person. Yeah, so, huh. starting with this. This isn't really a, a figure, but I made this Goosebumps bowl filled with tiny Goosebumps books. Oh, oh no. That's the one so Just really good. Yeah, so I'll just show you all this really quick. Inside, it's just little squiggles, so I'll show you them. The ghost next door. Um, the girl who cried monster. Welcome to the dead house. I didn't make all these. I only made up to like Book eight, I think. Whatever. Stay out of the basement. Say cheese and die. Um, curse of the mummy's tomb. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. I think it's actually open. They have nothing inside except the scribbles. They just said, "See ya." Yeah, I'm walking to camp right here. Monster blood. Let's get invisible. So the ones I made so far. Put that back, and now onto my clay figures for real. So I'll start with the uh, Mantis from A Shocker on Shock Street. Blob from the blob that ate everyone. The legs that you see on the cover of Monster Blood 3 from Monster Blood 3. Yeah. The beast from the East. From the Beast from the East. Um, Curly. He wasn't really. Fun fact about him. Um, he was like the Goosebumps mascot back in the day, but he never got his own book. It was Curly. The Egg Monster from Egg Monsters from Mars. Um, the Annihilator 3000 from Toy Terror Batteries Included. That was a Give Yourself Goosebumps book, actually. Um, the Ghost that you see on the cover from uh, Ghost Beach. Um, the Fortune Teller, I think it, no, it wasn't the Fortune Teller, it was a Genie. I think her name was like Clarissa. From, um, uh, be careful what you wish for. Cuddles the hamster from Monster Blood 2. That's my favorite part. The, um, I live in your basement, my creature from I live in your basement. 
the gruel from it came from beneath the sink. The shrunken head from how I got my shrunken head. The slug that you see on the cover from Monster Blood 4. I also have another one from Monster Blood 4. I'll show you. I'm gonna get to that later. The cat, I forgot its name, from a uh, Cry of the Cat. The creep from Calling All Creeps. I know on the cover and the movie they're purple, but in the episode they're yellow, so I just decided to do that. The Mummy from Return of the Mummy and Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Actually, there are two different mummies. Um, no, Prince Karu looks different than this. He has green eyes. Um, the other one from Monster Blood 4, I'll see the blue monster blood. And in the last video, my huge Goosebumps collection, um, I think it was like, I don't know, part one, I think it was. Um, there's um, eight parts to that, so um, after you watch this video, you should watch those ones. Um, the blue monster blood from Monster Blood 4. Yeah, so in my last video, I said... The Monster Blood of Monster Blood 4 is blue, and it has fangs, as you can see. And if water is poured onto it, it multiplies itself, and it's supposed to be a military super weapon. Yeah, it's not a toy. The Invisible Boy, from, um, actually in the movie, he was from My Best Friend's Invisible. But I thought he was from Let's Get Invisible, so this is just from Let's Get Invisible. Saber from Welcome to Camp Nightmare. And last but not least, for this one, bleh, not it's not last but not least, um, the Werewolf Fever Swamp. And I have more. I'll show you um Dead House from Welcome to Dead House all the way at the end because it's in this box and it's like glued there. So. I can show you that right now. Show you that there. The Abominable Snowman from The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. The Monster Blood from Monster Blood 1. And that's it for actually all the characters in the Monster Blood series. Um, and there's Mr. Mortman from The Girl the Crab Monster. Mud Monster from You Can't Scare Me. I'll show you the two. Uh, the two lawn gnomes from Revenge of the Lawn Gnome. I made two of them. First, I just made this guy, and I was like, I should make two because there's two in the book, and I made two. Yeah. Oh, boom. Um. The Haunted Mask from the Haunted Mask 1. Yeah, I have the Haunted Mask 2, which I'm going to show you just in a second. The Haunted Mask. And the Haunted Mask 2. The Old Man Mask. Mr. Wood from Night Living Dummy 1. And next we have... The Executioner from uh, Night and Terror Tower. The Horror from One Day Horrorland. Uh, Slappy from. Tom, I'd have to name all of them. There is Night Living Dummy, Night Living Dummy 2, Night Living Dummy 3. <gasps> Slappy's Nightmares. Um, there is um, Son of Slappy. Uh, uh, um, Slappy New Year. Revenge of the Living Dummy. Slappy Birthday to You. 
Um, I'm Slappy's Evil Twin. I bet you there's maybe more than that. That's all the ones I really know. So yeah, you get a good look at him. Slappy. And believe it or not, we have more. Scarecrow from the Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Um, Amazo from I Love Bad Hair Day. The Snowman from Beware the Snowman. The Giant Worm from a Go Eat Worms. It's funny, um, uh, I said this in the last one. I need to do some plus and you just go watch that. Yeah, um, I said this in the last one. Um, that's funny because the title is Go Eat Worms, but he doesn't eat the worms in the book, The Worm Eats Him. Yeah, you know the story. So, um, Champ from the Goosebumps movie. It's not just monsters. Um, who should we do next? Um, Mary Ellen from Bridal Mary Ellen from Bridal Living Dummy. The Plant Dad from uh, I Live in Your Basement. No, not I Live in Your Basement. Stay out of the basement. Um, the Vampire from Vampire Breath. Uh, Jack o Lantern, the Pumpkin Head from Attack of Jack o Lantern. The Skeleton with the Chef's Hat, which you see on the cover of Say Cheese and Die. It's from Say Cheese and Die. Um, the, the, uh, the Barking Ghost, I'll just say, from The Barking Ghost. Oh, um, Hannah from the Goosebumps movie. The Swamp Monster from the How to Kill a Monster. Yeah, I know the hands in the cover, the green fluffy hands coming out of the door. I think I'm coming out of the door. Actually, I shouldn't say fluffy. I should say um, furry. Um, yeah, but in the episode, it just looks like that. So, I made R.L. Stein himself from the Goosebumps, the movie, and some other stuff. Yeah. I didn't do Jack Black from the Goosebumps movie. I actually made the real R.L. Stein with the mole on his head. Yeah, kind of figured out his glasses. But, I was about to say, you don't really notice that. Um... The Mask Mutant from Attack the Mutant. Um, the Giant Goldfish from D from Deep Trouble 2. The Shark from Deep Trouble 1. Uh, on the cover, it's there. But in the book, like, you know the story, they catch a mermaid. And, yeah, but, like, that's not scary, like... So, um, shark that you see on the cover from Deep Trouble. King Jelly Jam from the Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. I, I probably should have put in a crown on it. I'll do that, like, another day, probably. Yeah, I'll do that soon. Maybe in my next video, I'll just make a video all about that. Um, all about the characters I fixed, which is probably only going to be that, really. Um, Murder the Clown from A Nightmare on Clown Street. Doesn't look like this in the cover, but he does in the movie. This is what he looks like in the cover. I actually have the book, so I'll go get it. Okay, here it is. No, it doesn't look anything like it. 
but try my best. That that that's what's in the Goosebumps movie. So let me put this back. I'll just pause the video so you don't have to wait. Okay, I'm back. So, there's only six more. Um, Cuckoo Clock of Doom from the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Actually, did the numbers. Kind of hard to see, but I tried my best. Yeah, the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Um, the Phantom from Phantom of the Auditorium. Zack from the Goosebumps movie. The Ghoul from Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls. Um, there's only two more left. The Headless Ghost from the Headless Ghost. That's a kind of a cool one. Yeah, and I only have one more. Actually, two, because I still need to show you um, Dead House. Fifi the Vampire Poodle from Please Don't Feed the Vampire. So now I can show you like the playset and stuff, which it didn't come with, cause obviously I made everything. Cause I didn't make all this. Yeah, so this one's the playset I made. There's dolls inside. You can go through that and goosebumps at the top with paper. And on the side here, well, that is a greeting card. I ordered it on Amazon. And what I did was, it's going to be Goosebumps tear. What I did was I recorded the Goosebumps theme song. So when I open it, it's, it'll play. So here, here it is. You may not hear it that good, but here. Yeah, it even says sloppy singers. Yeah, so that's that. And 